Hello and welcome. In this session, we are going to learn what is PG underscore cron. So before learning what is PG underscore cron, uh, if you are from a Unix uh, background, you must be knowing that in Unix, uh, whenever you have to schedule a task uh, in a scheduler, that is known as the cron. And uh, when the same task of the cron, uh, cron job, if you wanted to execute in the Postgre database, it is known as pg underscore cron so that is the basic thing right and uh, and those things uh, they are known as an, as an extension when you add some features like this so pg underscore cron it is like your unix scheduler which is used to schedule uh, postgre sql related database activity inside the database and you have to add it as an extension and the syntax of pg underscore cron works like the normal cron job and uh, the only difference with the normal uh, cron job is you you can schedule it inside the database so what are the things that we have to do you have to install the pg underscore cron extension on your system so i'm using uh, postgre 13 which is running on on a linux uh, environment so the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to install the PG underscore cron uh, extension. So what I'm going to say is sudo yum install hyphen y PG underscore cron underscore 13. So it will be installed any, any moment and it's done. Once uh, you have downloaded this extension, what you have to do is you have to set the PG underscore cron as a background worker on the postgre sql so what you have to do is you have to change some of the configuration in postgre sql dot conf so what we will do is just log into psql and say show config underscore file just to locate your postgre sql underscore con file added this file and you need to add two entries just to make sure that uh, this works for you so what are those two entries so you have to add shared preload underscore library is equal to pg underscore cron and the second is cron dot database name who is going to own it these two values you have to add in your uh, postgresql dot conf so i'm just going to search this i have already added it I'm just going to uncomment it so you can see these two lines which are already added and just remove the hash removed it that means I have added these two entries save it oh I think I did it wrongly so I need to comment this this is not required so uh, shared preload underscore library is equal to pg cron and the second is cron database name equal to postgre these two were supposed to be uncommented this is done and once this is done you have to to restart your postgre sql right after restarting postgre sql you can create the uh, pg underscore cron function so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say uh, sudo systemctl restart postgresql 13 and if you see the status it must be up and running status this is running the next step is you I'll log into the database as postgre user though I, it is not going to prompt because I'm connected locally so you just have to say create extension pg underscore cron it is already a um, existing so this is already existing so it is not going to create it otherwise i have to drop the extension oh, let us try dropping it this is just to, to show like how it is going to work okay this is dropped now just create the extension create extension pg underscore cron this is created and now what we are going to say is who is going to own it so we are going to say grant usage on schema cron to postgre this is done and now what we are going to do is we are just going to schedule some of the daily 
uh, routine work if I have to do it from the ins uh, inside the database. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to schedule the vacuuming process inside the database. So what I'm going to say is select cron.schedule. So every day at 2200 hours just schedule the vacuuming processes. So it has been scheduled and if you want it to unschedule you can unschedule it. This is how it works. So this is just basically if you have to put it something inside the database as a scheduler and if you wanted to hide it from the operating system which will be visible that's that's the only only thing which but it is a it is good to have uh, this kind of extension available and it can have many uses depending upon your environment i hope this is going to help and uh, thanks for watching